This is a Northern Copperhead, which is a Kistradon Contortrix Mucasin. This is the type of copperhead that lives in Kentucky. And copperheads are one of our most common snakes, especially in the eastern counties. They can be quite abundant, and they cause more bites than any other type of venomous snake. Luckily, a fatality from a copperhead bite is extremely rare, and no one has ever died from a copperhead bite in the state of Kentucky. Uh, one way to identify a copperhead is to look at the dark markings on the side of the snake. And I was told this by another naturalist, but I think it's a great method. The dark markings look like Hershey's Kisses on the side of the snake. This is the Western Cottonmouth, which is a Kistradon Pasivorus leucostoma, and it's also called the Water Moccasin. These guys are only found in Western Kentucky in the Jackson Purchase area. We don't have them anywhere else in the state except that Western section. They are frequently confused with regular water snakes, which are not venomous, but when they're all covered in mud, they can look somewhat similar. If you see the white lining on the inside of the snake's mouth. That's how it gets the name Cottonmouth, and that's their threat display. He's only halfway doing it, but they open their mouth when they get scared as a threat. This is the Western Pygmy rattlesnake, which is Cisturus miliaris streckeri. There is a small isolated population in western Kentucky near Land Between the Lakes. It's the smallest rattlesnake, which is why it gets the name Pygmy. And if you look closely on the top of the head, they have nine little bit larger scales on the top of the head, unlike the Crotalus, which um, most of them have many small scales on top of the head. And they eat a lot of amphibians like frogs, and they'll also eat small rodents. They're not very common in Kentucky. Go ahead. This is the timber rattlesnake, Crotalus horridus. And this is the large rattlesnake that is found in Kentucky throughout most of the, they're really absent from the central bluegrass area and they're not really around large cities. And the timber rattlesnake is the only venomous snake that has caused deaths in Kentucky. And all of those deaths were to religious snake handlers.